Table tennis is a sport like tennis but played on table therefore called table tennis but it is very different to talk about the differences the racket and ball is different it is played with a plastic ball a small ball and racket is also small and it doesn't have string it's made up of wooden and it has a rubber on both the sides so if you look at this racket plastic ball it's made up of wood and it has a rubber rubber is there so that you can make some spins with the plastic ball table tennis is played on a table and it has a net and net divides court into two parts if we look at the table from side this is how it looks like the table is divided into two parts by the net on the one side you are in the black uniform and you have your opponent in the blue side now the service in table tennis is very different when you're serving you toss the ball you hit the ball by your racket and it should bounce on your side of the table first then go over the net and it should bounce on your opponent's side very different from tennis so ball should bounce on your side first and then on the opponent's side only during serve after you have served if your opponent is trying to hit the ball he need to hit the ball onto your side if opponent hits the ball on his side then that is wrong so opponent need to hit the ball on your side and then you need to hit the ball on your opponent's side and the game goes on like that so you're wondering how do you win points let's talk about that stuff you can hit a very fast shot and your opponent is not able to make a contact that is a winner another way to win a point is two bounces so if your opponent hits the ball after the ball has made two bounces on the table it's called double bounce and you win the point another way is if your opponent hits the ball and it doesn't bounce on the table that would be an outside and you would win the point another case is opponent hits the ball into the net in that case also you would win the point so these are all the ways in which you can win the points in table tennis one thing i would like to bring to your attention is when you are serving if ball hits the net and go to the other side it's called as let and in that case you would reserve it but if you're playing a point and this happened that's fine you just continue the game let's talk about scoring now how scoring works so here you are in the black uniform because you have the ball you are serving you have the arrow in front of you so you toss the ball you serve your opponent hits it and you hit a winner shot so you won the point so you get the first point now in the next point also you would serve so you serve for two points and then you change the serve so this is second point you serve your opponent hit the outside shot so you win this point as well you got two points because you serve two times now serve would change it would go to the blue player and arrow would go to his name and you would give ball to him now let's assume that the player in the blue played a good point he won the first point and then he played another good point he won the second point now he has served for two points so serve will change now so how can you figure out when to change the serve whenever the sum of points is even then you change the serve whether it's 4, 6, 8, 10. You add your points. If it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, you change the serve. Serve would come back to you and the ball would also come back to you and you would serve and you would continue. So till what point of time you continue? You continue until you get 11 points. Once you get 11 points, then you have won that game. So game comes into the picture. So if you look at the points, you won 11 points. That means you won the game. So you won one game and the point becomes 0-0 and next game would start. Now for the next game, what would happen is the serve would change because in the previous game, you started the serve. So in the next game, opponent would start the serve. Not only that, you also change the sides as well. So you would go to the other side of table and that person would come to your side of the table. So when does game ends? Game ends when you win three games. So you win 11 point to win one game. And if you win three games, then you win the whole match and you are a winner. You are the winner. Now I want to bring your attention to some situation. Let's say you have 11 points, your opponent is 9 points. So because A has 11 points and difference is 2, A won it. If A has 11 and B has 8, difference is 3, you won it. 
as far as A wins 11 points with the difference of 2, A wins the game. But if it's 10-10 and now A gets 11, the difference is 1. In this case, A doesn't win this game. He needs to get difference of 2, so he needs to win one more point. If A gets 12 and 10, difference is 2, now A wins. And whenever game reaches to 10-10, after that, serve changes after every point, not two points. So it changes after two points till 10, 10. Once you reach 10 all, then it changes after every point. Now, if A has 11, B has 11, then A needs to make 13 because difference is zero right now. So once A gets 13, A wins the game. Now you can think of a situation 29, 28. Difference is one, so A is not a winner. A needs to win 30 points to win the game. Now let's talk about the types of shots. So if you simply hit a shot, this is how the ball is going to go. But if you move your racket up, that is known as top spin shot. And in that case, the ball is going to go farther, higher and faster. If you move your racket down, that is known as backspin. So ball would have a backspin and ball would be slower. It would be shorter and it would have a spin on it. So these are types of shot you can play. So, so if you're a person in black uniform, you need to see whether the opponent has a topspin shot or a backspin shot and accordingly you need to adjust. In table tennis, the bat or racket is very important. Here you see some dots on the bat or racket. Those are known as pimples in table tennis. So there are four main kinds of bats or racket normal short pimple long pimple and empty spin if you see short pimple would have a shorter pimple and long pimple would have a longer pimples what is the difference between these four kind it is the friction of that rubber so anti spin has the minimal friction whereas normal has really high friction and then short and long are in between so if you spin the ball the normal bat would spin ball way higher than the anti spin so that's how you know the game changes completely. If you have a normal bat, then you need to add just for spin heavily. Whereas for anti spin, that's not you know that's not a concern for you. Here we see that if you hit a top spin shot, depending upon your opponent's bat, the ball can land at different location. If normal, if short pimple, and if using anti spin, the ball can bounce at a different location. So you need to adjust for the top spin, back spin, and what kind of bat your opponent is using. All these things needs to be taken into consideration. Here we would see an example. So if a ball is having a top spin and it comes to your bat, it's gonna go out of the table. You're not gonna able to make a good shot. So how do you adjust for a top spin shot? If your opponent hit the top spin, you just make an angle of your racket. You just close your face. So normally it would go like this and this would be an outside shot. So you close your bat. So now it's going on the table. What about backspin? So if ball is coming with a backspin and you don't do anything, then it's gonna go into the net. So what you need to do is open up of your face. If you open the face of racket, then ball is going to get onto the table. If you don't open it, it's going to get into the net. So you need to adjust for all these things, whether the ball is top spin or a back spin and what kind of rubber your opponent is using, what kind of face you need to have, close face, open face. So there's a lot of technicality in the sport, which people don't recognize it. Let's talk about the real game. You are in orange uniform and score is 0-0. You are serving. So when you serve, you need to hit the ball on your side and then opponent side. So focus there. You are tossing the ball here and toss and you hit on your side then goes to the opponent side. Now you play normally. You hit a great shot. You won the first point. It's 1-0. Again, serve will be your because you serve for two points. You did a good serve. You hit a top spin shot. This is called backhand. Whenever ball comes to your left side, it's backhand. Come to right side, it's called as a forehand. And you hit a great forehand. So you got two points. Now service will go to your opponent, your opponent serve, and you hit a backspin shot. Another backspin shot. You can call it as a forehand backspin because you're, it's on your right side. Now this one is backhand spin. And you won the point again. You won three points in a row. You are doing great job. Your opponent serve. You hit a top spin shot. You hit a top spin shot. You hit a top spin shot. And then you hit a back and top spin. And then another back and top spin. Then another back and top spin. 
four and top spin then you hit a four and top spin then you hit a back and top spin another four and top spin and then back and top spin and you hit a back spin shot and you won the point you won four points now your serve so you serve after four points you're doing pretty good as a beginner and you hit the top spin shot wow what a winner so clearly you are a genius player you are doing pretty good job so let's get on to the doubles you are very good at singles so what is different in doubles compared to singles obviously two versus two is doubles and the difference from singles is when you're playing singles when you serve your first bounce can be anywhere on your side of the table which is green and then second bounce can be anywhere on your opponent's side of the table which is orange here but in doubles that is not the case in doubles the ball should bounce on the right side of your table and then it should land on the left side of your opponent's table and x would be receiving this serve so you hit the first bounce on your table on the right side second bounce on your opponent's table on the left side now once ball goes to your opponent your opponent can hit anywhere on your side now he doesn't need to care right or left anywhere on your table is fine but in table tennis players place alternatives so because you did the serve player two would be receiving the shot player one cannot play this shot so player two can only play the shot player x hit the shot and player two is ready to return that shot now because x played that shot y has to play this shot x cannot play this shot again that's how rules in table tennis doubles is players play alternate so if you hit the shot then your partner needs to hit the next shot and then you would hit the next shot it's alternate so because your partner two knows x cannot hit it so he's gonna aim for somewhere over there and y needs to play that shot so let's see what happens here so y is able to reach to the ball now because two play the shot two cannot play the next shot and y knows it that one needs to play the shot so y is gonna aim for somewhere here so that's the kind of beauty of double stable tennis is it's alternate so you play a shot then your partner play then you play your partner play so it gets very very interesting now let's learn about how serve will changes in doubles so if you are player one and you are serving so you serve for two points after two points you give ball to your opponent player x and now what would happen is player two would come to receive the serve and you would go on the other side of the table so player X is serving to player 2 now, player X would serve for 2 points and after that player X would give ball to player 2 and player Y would come to receive the serve and player X would go into the another direction. Now player 2 would serve for 2 points and after that he would give ball to the Y, player 1 would come to receive and player 2 would go to the other side. That's how the serve rotates in table tennis and players play alternate shots so that's so much fun in doubles let's look at the tv so if you're watching a match on the tv how do you make out what's going on so here if you see this player sar has a dot in front of his name so sar is serving and if you see this guy in the blue is serving so this guy is serving he has three points in this game and overall he has won two games and the opponent has also won two games so they have won two two game this is the final game and the point score is three zero pretty easy to follow hope you like the video and learn something new i have explained many other sports so check out the channel and learn about other interesting sports and do subscribe because i release new sports video every month so you can learn a lot and have a lot of fun thank you cheers bye bye